Hey guys. What I have here is a really nice deer pelt. I just finished up tanning and smoking. Came out pretty good. Um, it's nice and flexible. My challenge tonight is to get this all out of this one hide. I'm going to try to do that. And um, that's always a challenge when you're making a piece. You, you want as least amount of waste as possible when you're dealing with a hide. And um, this doesn't look like you'd be able to get this all out of this hide, but I'm thinking once I dissect this pattern, I might be able to uh, make it work. So let's get started. I'm not going to keep a collar on it. This has a little collar on it. I don't need that. But uh, the rest of it I'll use. So I'll try to shut up. Alright, so that's off. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. So we have our three pieces. Um, so it's basically going to be four seams, and I want, like I said, I want to see if I could fit this all on here. So, let's see here. Sometimes I'll spend like a half an hour on a high just trying to choreograph if it's all going to fit on here, you know? And, um, I feel like I had a plan, now I'm trying to remember it. See that? I am just on the hide everywhere. I think I can get this whole uh, vest out of one deer hide, which would be excellent. So I'm going to try to carefully um, trace out my pattern. And um, we'll go from there. Deer hair is um, super warm, um, and what helps with deer hair is it's hollow, it's like little tubes, um, so that captures and holds, it's like a dead air space, you have that hollow tube that heats up and stores heat. And also, uh, it's very thick, so that the combination really works well. All right, we got one wing of the vest. There's a lot of, it looks like I'm just taking a vest and throwing it on here, but there's a lot of planning that goes into this. I think about form, function, how I want the, the vest to feel. I want it to feel a certain way. I think about, you know, utilizing the hides in the most effective way possible. In this case, I'm able to get the whole vest out of uh, this one skin, which really makes me happy. You know, like the portions where the seams come together, I want to be um, I'm the most critical about getting your pattern to really line up well. You want all your seams to be nice, smooth transitions. 
Once I get down in the bottom portions, I'll hide around my waist. If it runs off a little funny or it's not a perfectly straight line, I don't get too bent in a shape over it. But uh, around the neck, shoulders, I want it to look as symmetrical as possible. So, just be a little bit more careful here. I want to stitch this in a way that the shoulders lay very flat on my shoulder. I could, I could sew this inside out and then flip it, but then you're going to have a really big curl here, really big puffy sleeve. And I don't want that. I want this to sit very flat on my shoulders. So I'm going to stitch it very simply by putting the two halves right side out. and sewing it like this, just like that. That'll, as the, as the um, stitching stretches, that'll cause that shoulder to lay very flat. Alright, we're back in the Paleo Workshop here. Last night I started um, sewing this uh, sewing this up a little bit. It's inside out right now. But the one shoulder done and I'm working on the one side seam here. So we're just going to keep going. I have, uh, have this all punched out. Just open my holes up here and Go back at it. Now the hardest part of this when you're doing with a dealing with a pelt is um feeding your lace through the holes and getting around all that hair. The hair kinda hides your lace. It's kinda hard to find it at times. So that's the biggest challenge. So you kinda have to uh I use the tool a lot actually. If I'm if I can't see where my my hole is, I'll actually take the I'll take the tool, ram it through, and it gets through that hair, and then I could see where I need to feed my uh I use it like a guide. Just like this, I ram that through. I could see now where my hole is. And I feed it through. Now the hair, the hair likes to bunch up at the seam, so you really want to make sure you're pulling your lace tight enough to get through all that hair and really close up the seam, because you have a tendency to kind of not get it very tight.
Sometimes it's hard to punch through all that uh, hair. Second shoulder done. Starting to come together nicely. We have this seam to run up, and that will be it. Now, this one I am going to sew inside out. I think the only thing this thing's going to need, I haven't tried it on yet, but um, probably some type of tie so I could tie the two halves together.